Dear ladies and gentlemen, today's question is, did Kennedy want to restrict the Fed? Exactly 50 years ago, in 1963, the American president, John F. Kennedy, performed a clever move with the Executive Order 11110 to rid the United States of the Federal Reserve Bank's stranglehold. At that time, the Fed was celebrating its 50th anniversary. With his order 11110, the United States Department of the Treasury was given the possibility of multiplying the small amount of silver-backed money which existed since 1878 and its independence from the Fed. Already $4 billion in smaller bills referred to as United States notes had been supplied to the currency circulation and in the government printing office bigger banknotes were ready for delivery when Kennedy was killed on November 22, 1963. Immediately following the murder all this silver-backed money was completely withdrawn from circulation. In the meantime, 50 more years have passed under the worldwide dictates of the Fed and their backers. The Fed is now celebrating its 100th anniversary and has more power than ever. Who will ever dare to confront the Fed again after the assassination of Kennedy?